What's going on guys? So as you can see here, I've got the Nintendo new 3DS XL. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the console, uh, opening it up, playing it, kind of surfing through the menus, and you know, see what it's like to play the 3DS in 2020 and see how it holds up versus, you know, the, the newer consoles like the Switch. Now, before we hop into the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you're interested in supporting the channel even further, go ahead and hit the join button right next to the subscribe button. Um, and I have a few different levels of memberships and you can get some perks out of that as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the video. So in case you guys didn't know, there's actually a lot of different versions of the 3DS. Um, there's even a 2DS, but the, the original 3DS came out in 2011. The 3DS XL came out in 2012, I believe. And then the new 3DS XL, which I have here, came out in 2015. And you can tell it's a new 3DS XL because if you look at the back, it says new 3DS XL. Um, I, to be honest, off the top of my head, I don't remember all the differences between the 3DS XL and the new 3DS XL. But you know, obviously there's some improvements. And nowadays, if you're gonna buy a 3DS, you know, you might as well get the new 3DS XL. Um, so I actually got this console from GameStop a while back. I'll go ahead and link the video in the description uh, to where I unboxed it from GameStop. Now, first of all, this is the Galaxy colorway, uh, which I personally really like. I think it looks really nice. And the camera doesn't do it justice in person. It looks really nice. And on the front, there's obviously like a Galaxy looking thing. And on the back, it's kind of just a plain purple or a, a gloss purple, I should say. So let's go ahead and look at the console and kind of see what features it has physically. So on the front here, as I mentioned, you got the Galaxy colorway and you have two cameras here. I believe the two cameras are so that it can create a 3D picture, but I'm not 100% sure to be honest. And then here on the bottom, uh, we kind of got a few different features. So we have the game cartridge slot, which I have a game in right now. You have the auxiliary port uh, where you can plug in headphones and stuff. Uh, you also have your stylus, which is pretty much a feature on any DS ever. And then your power button, of course. Now, if you come over to this side, you got one feature, uh, which is the 3DS slider or the 3D slider. Uh, basically, you can go from, from completely 2D to completely 3D, which is a nice feature. And if we take a look at the back, nothing special. kind of just says new 3DS XL. gives you some, some details about the battery and stuff. And then, of course, your stylus and game card can still be seen here. And then on this side, you got another slider, but this slider is for your volume. And on the top, we got a port right here for your charging. And let me flip it around so you can see it better. But we got four different buttons, um, which are all triggers. Now we can go ahead and open this bad boy up and kind of see some more stuff on the inside. So as standard, you got your, your B, Y, X, and A, like pretty much all um, Nintendo consoles nowadays. Start, select, home, D-pad, you got your analog stick. And up here you have your little tiny C stick, which is kind of weird if you just touch it. Um, but, you know, it makes sense when you're, once you're playing a game. And then down here you got your mic, and up here you got another camera. So those are the main features. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on and see what we got here. So it actually takes a few seconds to boot. As you can see, we have a blue light, which means it's, it's booting up. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through the menu and kind of see what's up and see how it compares to, you know, menus of consoles nowadays. So first of all, let's kind of just start in the left-hand corner. So we got our, our home menu setting, settings. So you can change your theme, like pretty much any console. Um, you know, standard, you can just do a bunch of solid themes or you can go to the theme shop and, and buy some stuff, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And it's gonna make me do it right now, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna try to connect to the internet, but I don't have it connected to the internet, I'm pretty sure, yeah. All right, back home, please. And so, as you saw, you can change your theme. You can change your screen brightness. So you can go all the way from one to five. We're on five right now. I'm gonna turn off auto brightness so it stays, um, you know, super bright. Power saving mode, of course, like most consoles have power, some sort of power saving mode now. Or not just consoles, but kind of portable devices in general. Um, you got your Wi-Fi, 3DS image share, Amiibo settings, and some more settings. Now I'm actually, I did not mean to press Nintendo eShop. Oh, great. I locked myself into an application. All right, so back to the settings. I kind of want to set, check out the system settings and see what we got here. See if there's anything interesting or weird. And to be honest, I haven't really played the 3DS too often. Um, as I mentioned, I got this one from GameStop and I've only played it a few times just for the heck of it. Uh, but let's go ahead and look. So internet settings, parental controls, data management. I'll see some other settings. So profile, uh, okay. I can probably change like our, yeah, pretty standard birthday, username. Touch screen stuff, okay. Oh, it's just calibrating. Same thing as the original Nintendo DS, the sound. Aha, okay, so you can make it surround, stereo or mono. 
I guess it really makes a difference if you have headphones plugged in. Got your mic test 3D screen check, okay. So that'll kind of let you visually see if your 3D screen is doing anything. I highly doubt you guys can see anything on the camera from the 3D, except for just a bunch of like blurred lines. <laughs> I think that's all you can see right now. I'm going up and down with the 3D screen right now, but yeah, I'm pretty sure all you see is blurred lines. So that's not gonna help you guys out. And I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of that. Super stable 3D, what is that? Oh, I think, I'm pretty sure super stable 3D has something to do with tracking your eyes so that it makes the 3D more bearable. But even with that, I, I'm not a huge fan of the 3D because it just kind of hurts my, <laughs> hurts my uh, eyes, to be honest. Circle pad, system transfer, language, system update. I bet there is a system update because I have not updated this thing since I got it. Um, we're going to pass on that for now. We're going to check out some other, what are the kind of apps we got on here? That's one of my favorite things when I was a kid um, or younger, when I'd get like a new system or something. I would just scroll through and look at all the, all the weird apps, especially on the Wii. You know how it had the Me channel, it had the, the Weather channel. It had one of those channels where you could like submit your Wii or submit your Me to like compete with other Mii's, I think. Uh, that was pretty neat. Um, but here we got our health and safety information, Me Plaza, Nintendo Zone. Oh, that looks like one of those things, the AR things, augmented reality. That's kind of cool. Download play. I didn't realize they still had download play on the 3DS. <laughs> that was one of the coolest features on the original DS. Got your 3D camera, AR games, system settings, face raiders. Okay. 3DS sound, me maker, activity log. Ooh. You can see how much I have not played this console. <laughs> I'm not sure why I just clicked on this. Let's go back. I'm kind of interested in checking out the Mii Plaza. Oh, I don't have any Mii's. So I can't do anything. Let's go make a Mii real quick. Because, like, why not? I mean, who would have thought we'd be in 2020 and we would still be making Mii's? Crazy, man. All right, so start from... Oh, you can start from a photo. That's kind of cool. Let's start from scratch. I'm going to go as generic as possible. Nickname. I'm typing Mike, why not? So we got Mike, pretty generic name and a pretty generic looking dude. Let's check out one of these other things. So we got, oh, we got game notes. Uh, I don't know why I just got excited about that because I have no idea what this is. I'm assuming it's just notes that you can make while playing a game, I don't know. That's interesting. You can just draw stuff. Cool. It's kind of like the, uh, Oh, I completely forgot what it was called on the on the original Nintendo DS where you could picto chat. That's what it was. Picto chat. Seems a little bit like picto chat. And you also got notifications, friend list, browser, Miiverse. What is the Miiverse? Maybe that's where you interact with other Mii's online. I would assume that's probably what it is. Yeah, I'm a I'm pretty much an ultra 3DS noob to be honest. <laughs> and we even got a manual down here. You can open up your digital 3DS instruction manual. Okay. Not that anybody ever actually looks at the instruction manual, but I guess that's nice in case you need it. And here's the game we got in here. So we got Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Let's go ahead and open that up. I like opened this game up a few days ago just for the heck of it. I would assume, I don't know anything about the game, but I would assume it has something to do with Mario and Luigi teaming up to fight Bowser or or some like crazy villain like usual. Ooh, one day. We got starting up here. We got the nice music. Turn that down before somebody gets mad at me. I'm trying to skip some stuff though. I mean, this is nothing special. We're in Peach's castle. Bowser's about to come and take her. Take her away on his flying machine. Pretty standard. I just gotta say, I'm a really big fan of this console's makeup, like it feels really sturdy in the hands. It feels really nice, to be honest. Um, like I feel like I could take it anywhere and just feel like a boss, you know what I'm saying? And, ooh, you can see my carpet here. How nice. Yeah, that's real nice. You can take pictures of my carpet. Oh, in 3D, that literally hurts my eyes right there. <laughs> I'm gonna turn that off. I kinda wanna boot up the, the Wii Shop menu, or, well, I just said the Wii Shop menu, it's just the the Nintendo eShop. I'm gonna go ahead and boot up the Nintendo eShop. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to connect to the internet and then we're gonna see what happens when we when we get on here and see if there's anything we can still download. All right guys, so I guess I'm not gonna connect to the internet because I just tried to 
And for some reason, my access point is not compatible with the DS. I'm not sure why. I didn't really look it up, um, but that was kind of weird. Uh, so let's see what else we got in here. So oh, we can actually change the format. We can make them bigger. Nice. I was wondering why those icons were so small. I'm curious what the Nintendo 3DS sound is. I have never heard of that. Yeah, so it's just me recording. And as you can see as I talk, the, the waves are like going crazy, which is kind of cool. But I don't really need to record anything on my 3DS. I guess I could record my, my YouTube audio on my 3DS just for the heck of it. I'm sure it sounds terrible. But yeah, we could do it if we wanted to. Now let's try Face Raiders. That's the good stuff. Uh, yeah, let's play. I gotta put a face. Yeah, it's definitely not a face. It's just my my overhead <laughs> camera setup. But uh, yeah, okay, that's kind of funny. Yeah, sure, that looks like a face. Yeah, we'll we'll roll with it. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to play this on camera because I have to actually like physically move it around. I'm just like shooting little tiny pellets in my carpet right now. That's that's kind of cool, but interesting. I'm not sure what's going on here. Now, before we end this video, there's one more thing I want to try. I want to try putting a Nintendo DS game in it. Um, I'm pretty sure that Nintendo DS games work on the 3DS, but I've never actually tried. So let's go ahead and try it out. As you can see, I got Zoo Tycoon 2. And I think I can just eject or take out the 3DS game without any issues. Hopefully so. Now, let's see if this thing fits. Um, oh, yeah, it definitely fits. For some reason, just looking at this at the 3DS game, it looks bigger than the DS game, but it's not really bigger. So there you go. It shows a really grainy image of the Zoo Tycoon game. I'm actually a fan of this this uh, cartridge icon up here. Uh, kind of just a 3D image of it spinning around. That just looks kind of cool. Not gonna lie. And let's make sure it boots up. And there you go, guys. So you can actually play original DS games on the 3DS. I'm sure you guys already knew that, but I've never actually tried it, so I just wanted to try it out and make sure you could. Um, but yeah, that's that's nice. Uh, nice thing to know. And let me just kind of compare the size of the DS game versus the 3DS game. Because I swear, just looking at them, I think the 3DS game just feels thicker. I think it actually is thicker. And then it has this little piece that sticks out, so it makes it look bigger. But it's really not that much larger. So there you go, guys. I think we got a pretty solid look at this console today. And to be honest, straight to the point, I think it is still a good console to pick up. Uh, you know, you can get these consoles for pretty cheap nowadays, and there's a huge game library. Uh, my main issue with the 3DS is the whole 3D thing. Uh, you know, I think it's still a gimmick. Um, I always have, and it, it hurts my eyes a little bit. I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that don't feel it's a gimmick, and they actually like the 3D, but I don't I don't feel that it provides a whole lot of value, um, which is why I originally bought a 2DS, and I think if you don't like the 3D, then a 2DS is a solid option. Um, or you can also pick up a 3DS and just turn off the 3D. I mean, it's not, it's not really a big deal. It's just that I'm not a huge fan of it. But other than that, it's a great console. I mean, they still got the, the old looking menus like from the from the Wii console that was you know, like 15 years ago now. But that's not a big deal. It's, it's easy functionality and it works. So um, I can't complain about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a great day.